Hello everybody, back with part two of the Nanoscope Review. This thing has four magnets in it um, to help you plug them in together with other nanoscopes. My friend's nanoscope isn't here right now, otherwise I'd show you, but they do, they're very strong. Like, you hold them this close together and they go pow and plug in. And you can pick them up and they stay connected. But I was just going to show you where they're at with my little trusty paper clip. Um, there's one right there where the logo is. There's one underneath the connector. There's one where the other logo is. There's another one beneath that connector. So, fun fact. Let's talk about some of the things it comes with first. First of all, it comes with a mini USB cable. USB on one end, mini USB on the other. It's pretty short though. I mean, that's it. It also comes with this battle case. It's a hard plastic carrying case. It's made out of, I'm assuming it's AVS plastic. Um, it has some texture in the middle here, or I guess grip. This has a bunch of decals all over it too. You can see the different wire circuitry and all that. It's got the Nanovore logo right here, the Storm Spinner. It has the Nano Hazard logo. Um, it has the Nanovore Might Bite logo off the website and the uh, nanovore work in swarms. All you do to open it up is just pop it off. It's just two little pegs and it just slides in. Your nanoscope just comes with your nanoscope, not the keychain, the case and the cord, and the really bad instructions. That's it. These are the two Sensei cartridges that are available right now. We have Sensei Taslos right here, Sensei Spydran right here. Remember, those do not come with the nanoscope. They're both separate from each other. Uh, they're $10 a piece. They come with nothing but the cartridge. No online nano cache, nothing. A fun thing you can do with the case, other than just having it open, is there's these pegs on the bottom. You can plug those in together, and it creates a little display stand where you can display your cartridges. It has room for three cartridges right now. Here, here, and here. Um, of course, there's going to be more soon, but all we have right now is the two Sensei cartridges. And you've already seen the opening animation. I'm going to skip that. Okay. So here you can see your four options. You have battle, training, player profile, and options. Um, let's go down to options and check those out. Okay, you have your volume slider bar, turn the volume up and down, and you have the option to turn the music on and off. That's it. You get all this information down here, it's um, the version number and your firmware version, all that stuff. If you have a problem and you have to send in a ticket or something, that's stuff you want to include. Hit the B button. Let's check out the player profile. This is only available to you once you've already synced it up to your computer. So if you just buy it, this is just going to be blank. You have general info and badges. Let's check out general info. Okay. There's my avatar online. The little red square right there. Uh, my NMP right there. And the nanovore I have. Uh, 47. So let's get out of that. Hit B. Now let's go check out badges. And here is just a random assortment of your badges. It doesn't have all of the ones I have online. It's just, it just looks like the victories in the Battlemaster badges. Even though I have a lot more than that. But for some reason, it's all it shows. Okay. The first option up here is Battle. If you go to that, it's just going to say Host or Join a Battle and it's going to tell you to connect your nanoscope. So, until you have a friend or have a second nanoscope, there's not much you can do. And the same thing happens if you ask, if you push join. So let's go down to training. You see we have solo battle, training games, and battle tutorial. The battle tutorial is just a really quick recap of how to use the nanoscope to play. It's just screenshots, it's no video or anything like that. Training games are your four mini games you can play. When you first buy it, you only have Firewall and Nanokata uh, on the nanoscope. Once you get it synced up, then you'll get Circuit Jumper and Cyber Serpent. 
But as you can see here, we have Firewall for Armor Jolts, Cyber Serpent for Health Jolts, Circuit Jumper for Speed Jolts, and Nanokata for Strength Jolts. For those of you that don't know what Jolts are, Jolts are pretty much points you earn on the nanoscope. Once you connect your nanoscope to your computer, you can upload your Jolts, and with those you can buff up your nanovore. You can increase their speed, their health, their armor, and their strength. But it takes a lot. Like, it takes like 30,000 or so, it's different with every nanovore to just bump it up one point. So you gotta play for a while. And I'm gonna show you the solo training real quick. Okay, when you click on solo training, it says loading. And then you get this little animation. You have new game, load game, jolts, and exit. You can see Lucas right there, and it just says training pack on top of that. So let's go to load game. You can see I've beaten everything, so everything is open right now. Otherwise, there would be walls blocked off and everything like that. Once you beat it all, there's nothing you can do. Lucas says he releases wild swarms, but I've never seen one. So once you beat it, there's nothing left to do. So let's back out of that. You hit B, and then you get your option screen. You go to main menu. You can go check out all the jolts you've earned, your strength, speed, armor, and health. And let's get out of that. Okay, we're going to check out Fireball real quick. Hit firewall, loading. Okay, here's firewall. You have start, start game, scoreboard, um, instructions, and exit. Let's just go to start game, and yeah, let's just start on level one. Okay, the object of this game is pretty easy. You're this little circle, and you have these colored shields around you. Now, there's different color missiles, and you have different colored shields. The object of the game is to match those missiles with the color shields. Every time you match a missile with this color, you get 10 points. Um, if it's the wrong color and it hits your shield, it gets damaged. After two or three hits, the shield disappears. Um, if a missile hits your circle, the inner circle in there, you blow up. It's very long and very boring, but you're really just mainly trying to get those power-ups that are sliding into it right now. There's a power-up that releases a bomb that destroys all the missiles. There's a power-up that repairs your shields. The main ones you want to worry about are the score ones. And that'll really help you get along quicker. See, I beat the level, but I barely got any points. It's not about beating the level, it's about getting points. And here's the jolts I earned just from playing that. I got 1,560. Okay, now let's check out my favorite, Nanokata. Okay, if you kids remember something called DDR, it's kind of big in my day. You guys probably think it's Guitar Hero now. All you do is hit the arrows. You have start, game, scoreboard instructions as it, just like the other. Let's go to start game. You have, I believe, four or five, maybe five, um, of each difficulty. There's five songs for easy, five songs for medium, five songs for hard. They're all the same songs. So let's, let's try an easy one because I can't see. Now you can have these arrows at the top of the screen and then the number A. One of your random nanovore that's on your nanoscope now will be dancing to you. So the object, oh crap, I'm backwards, is to hit, there we go, the arrows as they come up the screen. And you have a life bar at the top up there, right here. And if that goes all the way down, you explode. You, you can't just die, you explode. Um, it's, the game isn't set to the music. The arrows are just there. Um, the music just actually kind of gets in the way if you're like me and you actually play music. I just turned to a pile of goo. Um, sometimes if you hit a big streak, you get an awesome thing. And the arrows stop, but the music doesn't. And then it just randomly picks back up, and you usually miss the coming arrows. There's the jolts I just got from playing that. I got 684. Not too bad. Tomorrow I'm going to do uh, the different Sensei cartridges. I'll show you Tazlos and Spydran. If you guys have any questions or anything, just let me know. And that's it. Thanks for watching, guys.